Greetings friends, this is I, Riku Khan, and I unfortunately have to rush really badly because I just got this package very late. Like, I only have like maybe about 10 or 20 minutes to get this recorded. So without further ado, this is the unboxing of the Switch. Here's the box. I got the gray one. I'm sure you all have seen it like hundreds of times already. Yeah, a little sun flare, but I, don't, I can't help it right now. I, I, I have to rush this. I hate to rush, but I really do not have a choice. So I'm never going to get this opportunity ever again. Well, it's nice that they at least cut back on the tape needed to open this thing. I'll give them props for that. Alright, so I guess I have to lay this sucker down. And here's the first thing you see. The two Joy-Cons and the tablet itself. Uh -huh. I'm sorry this is very shaky, but I just do not have the time. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a screen protector on this, it's just all in plastic wrapping. But... Here it is. Without the Joy-Cons, without the plastic wrapping, here is the Switch itself. This little thing is going to be playing Breath of the Wild soon. Yay. Now it's got some little dust on it, but... Whatever. Just wipe it off my shirt. And of course, here's the back of it. And in here is where you uh, flip the kickstand to put the... Uh, H the SD card and this is where you put the games at so that's good sorry I'm just very rush I'm rushing right now this is very unprofessional levels but again I do not have much time here are the joy cons here's the minus one you can see the minus on it and then it's got the these kind of remind me of the C buttons from uh, the N64 and here's the right Joy-Con, A, B, X, Y, Plus, and there's also the uh, bumpers and triggers and all that. So, why don't we do the one thing I've been looking forward to be doing this whole day. Alright, let's watch the true magic happen. Just slide this bad boy in. You hear that click? It's in. And let's do the other side. And in order to uh, in order to take it out, you just push on this black button here. Same goes for the um, the the. Uh, Wow, I am stuttering like crazy. The port. The, wow. The thing that you plug into your TV. Here's a wrist strap that I am not going to use because, well, Review Tech USA did a video on this of how to remove it. And yeah, it's simple to remove, but that horrible loud clicking, it just, I just do not trust these with it. He, I, I agree with him. I think they are going to make a revamped version of that. Huh, I can't seem to find the other one. Well, what do we have in here? And here we have... Oh, it's the uh, grip stand. The thing that you put your Joy-Cons on to be like an actual controller. Even though this isn't the charging version, I think I would still use it. Until I get the charging one, and this thing can just sit there and collect dust. And here's the HDMI cable. I know it's not really new and exciting. Although I did find that my TV does have a second HDMI cable slot, so that should be able to fit in just fine. AC adapter, I don't think anyone needs an introduction on that. And 
here comes uh, here comes the dock. Yeah, I actually remember the dock. Yeah, it's a lot bulkier than I thought it would be, but it's still pretty small. I can easily fit this into my room. I'm sorry if, if I'm again rushing. I just do not have time to do this in-depth analysis. Uh, Pro Jared actually pointed out that you can, yeah, you can hide all your cords back here, which I think is a really cool idea. Really cool. Um, something to be note, Blunty accidentally scratched his switch on the side here with the with the dock here and he recommends that yes you definitely need a screen protector um oh here it is it fell in the box here's the other one uh yeah you have to base it on hmm, i don't know how you tell which one's which but I am going to go ahead and get this all set up in my room after I actually turn on the switch itself. Let's see. Uh, here's the top of the switch again. There's the headphone jacks, the air, power button volume. So let's turn this bad boy on. Starts up with a Nintendo logo. Got some dust on it already. Switch. Hey, start with music. Alright, uh, this is just the basic settings. Let me just do this real quick. Well, as you can see, the system is updating so I can get access to the eShop. I could theoretically go ahead and play Breath of the Wild, but I figured to make this a bit better of a video, I go ahead and just, you know, just slowly record me getting this thing set up on my TV here. I did a little cleanup, but I think I got enough just to plug it in here. I'm gonna set this on my bed. You might even see my face in here. Who knows? All right. So first thing we're gonna do: connect this AC adapter. So I actually got to put effort into plugging this thing in. That's how all consoles work these days. But hey, I'd rather have a console with an, with an AC adapter to protect from electrical surges to cause fires. Ugh. Power. Electricity, am I right, folks? It can serve you, it can also kill you. I'm talking about at least the core size, not the actual box. So, here I am, just lowering it down. Mm, I guess I'm going to have to put this through this telly. Through other means. There we go. I told you, I ain't getting rid of my Wii U. It was a gift, and I don't get rid of gifts. Okay, now we just gotta lower this bad boy down. Here comes a big red fat bastard. Well, goodness is, I did find a spot. Now the question is, I don't get it plugged in. I gotta clean up all this guy hold mess right here. Alright. That was the hard part. I think. Now, we're going to plug in the HDMI. But yeah, I'm like... Do any of you guys let things update before you play the game? If you know you're able to. Like I know that the Wii U, you know, I'm gonna give credits where credits do. They at least gave you the ability to have your games update on the standby as you play the games. Well, somehow, some way I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Now I really know how short the battery life on this camera is, but I guess I was doing too much of it at once. But hey. Got the uh, HDMI plugged in. Now I'm going to use this bad boy here. Get it all connected and try and make this look nicer. God help me though, I'm not efficient at this. There, perfect. 
Now it fits like a charm. Giggity. Oh, my switch turned off. Hmm. That's not the power button. That's weird. Anyway, um... Okay. I... Alright, so the update's been installed, and... Now I'm just going to sign in a link here. I know there's not very much action going on, but this is just audio commentary in the post video. Finally, got the thing updated. Now I'm going to the eShop because I got a... Hmm? Well... I'm the only one who's going to be using this thing, so sign me up. And it's still asking for my password anyway. Okay then. Um, anyway, I have a code to enter for my DLC expansion for Breath of the Wild. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, insert my micro SD card. Get that all settled and then I'll see you when the game is up to date and ready to play. Well, here we go. I'm about to push this game in. Oh boy, so excited. Actually, the SD card was kind of difficult to push in. Alright, sounds like it just clipped in just fine. So I guess I just go ahead and load it up now. Now. Oh. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Um, I'm not sure you've all seen the gameplay of it already. Now I've shown you all the basics, so I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.